Oh, hello there. Did you miss me? I don't think so. Anyways, welcome, welcome, my dear little monkeys. This is a very special video. Now, contrary to maybe popular belief, this is not a Sailor Moon channel. Okay, sometimes I do put out some Sailor Moon stuff. All right, all right already, Jesus. Don't look at the man behind the curtain either. Um, no, this is not a Sailor Moon channel, but, uh, well, I recently went to Japan and just came back and it's been a week, I'm still jet lagged and, uh, well, uh, let's do a little haul video because <laughs> I went a little overboard and, uh, my credit card company is very happy right now, let just let me tell you that, although my wallet is pretty much crying. I've never really done a haul video and I really did buy a shit ton of stuff over there and I bought stuff that is Sailor Moon related and I bought stuff that is Model Kid related, so I don't think merging the two hauls would be a good idea, so if you're watching this, be sure to check out my other haul video that I will probably publish around the time this one goes up. Uh, if you want to see all the little fun toys and goodies that I got for uh, my uh, model painting adventures. Now, while I was in Japan, I had a lot of time to walk and explore all my surroundings. And what better way to explore Japan than to go to two very specific places where it was all about Sailor Moon. And which places are these, you might be asking yourself. Well, it's, it's freaking obvious. I went to the Sailor Moon store and to my luck and amazement uh, and surprise, I got to go to the Sailor Moon Museum in Fukuoka. So, uh, I will be posting a vlog video if I hadn't already, because I'm not sure the order in which the haul videos and the vlog videos will go up. But hey, uh, if you see this and there's no vlog video yet, then wait for it. And if you saw the vlog video already, then I don't know, man, I've never done this. Uh, this is completely out of character for me. So let, let's get on to it. So I don't know how hauls really work. I'm just gonna show you what I bought and where I bought it because I guess that's what you like to see. So let's get on to it. First off, uh, let me say that the, out of all my purchases in, in Japan, this is one of my favorites in case, in case like uniformity promptly, uniformity promptly is today's uh, phrase, so let's get on to it promptly, shall we? First of all, I went to the Sailor Moon store in Shibuya, and I was planning to go to the one in Osaka, which is much smaller. Unfortunately for me, it was goddamn closed because they were remodeling the whole shit, so I didn't get a chance to go to a second Sailor Moon store, but I did go to the one in, like, the main store in Tokyo, so let me, let me show you first what I got there because I didn't get a lot of things at first. Uh, where I did splurge was <laughs> later. So let me show you, let me show you what I got. When you go to Japan, uh, you do not handle a lot of, of bills. You handle, you, you handle more coins. And I forgot about that. <laughs> so uh, the first thing I bought was a coin purse <laughs> because I needed it and it's been well used. I really like this in particular because I'm, I tend to put things on my belt uh, when I'm walking. So this was perfect for me. And as you can see, it, it's it's pretty used. <laughs> uh, this is what they were selling at the store. I don't think they have any anything specific. Like, I think they just put in whatever is left over from other places or other sales at one point in time. So there was a lot of stuff all over the place in that store, but nonetheless, it was a Sailor Moon store. So this is what I got. This is a Sailor Moon and a Sanrio collaboration. The second uh, item that I purchased over there was a Sailor Saturn, a very, very adorable keychain. Now you may not know it, but actually Sailor Saturn is, a, is my favorite Sailor Scout. Uh, it, it's right second place after Eternal Sailor Moon. So uh, Sailor Saturn was right there and I, and I had to have it have it for me and it does have like the little sailor moon store logo there it's pretty nice it's not really a keychain i like keychains <laughs> uh surprisingly I, I i found myself buying a shit ton of keychains <laughs> another thing that i really really wanted when i saw it posted on instagram from the official sailor moon store was none other than the sailor moon calendar because it does have 
the new illustrations that Naoko did for, I think, last year or this year. I think it's last year. So these are the new illustrations that we get to see um, in, in the calendar itself. I haven't really opened it, uh, so let's check it out a little. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Oh, and she's January. Unfortunately, we're already in February. Uh, February. Well, this is so strange. It's the first time that I don't see a calendar start with, you know, our our main hero, hero and her he our main hero. English is not Englishing today. The order in which they are appearing is the order in which they actually have their birthdays, because right now, as I'm filming uh, today, is March fifth, and Ichiru's birthday is today. So that's awesome. That's awesome that we get to see the sailors in their birth month. I'm really, really happy that I was able to get this. I was worried I wasn't, you know, it's going to be sold out. But no, they did have a lot of these uh, in stock. So all good. While we were there, I was actually there with my best friend. And uh, she and I, we, we do Sailor Moon together <laughs> all the time. And we bought like two. I don't really know what it is with the whole acrylic stands as of lately. It's not something that I see appealing, but you know, I guess it is what it is. I hate the fact that they are blind acrylic stands, but hey, uh, I wanted one in particular and we got two each. And I said, if, if any of us gets the one, I get to keep it. She was like, sure, let's do it. So uh, the first one I got was actually a Chibi Chibi Moon. She's pretty, pretty small. Wait, really? Well, this is, this is one that my friend got. <laughs> I switched it with her. But the one that I really, really wanted and apparently is very rare is Mid Heavy Metal Papillon. Uh, I really, really like this character ever since I read the manga, even though she appears in like a few pages for the little bit of time that she appears on camera, even in the Cosmos movie. Hopefully somebody will do a Sailor Heavy Metal Papillon figure in the future. If not, I'll end up doing it myself because that's what I do here now. <laughs> now, I leave the best for last from my Sailor Moon store little haul. <laughs> We're just getting started. But this is th this little thing is the last thing that I got. And because apparently the store was separated like in two sections and I didn't know that. And when I looked around, like there was another section, but it was all clothing and jewelry. Something caught my eye. Let me show you what I saw. <sighs> this, this baby right here, this baby right here. This is a hoodie. If you saw my Katie Moon video, you realize that um, in Japan, clothing is <laughs> very small, <laughs> super small. I honestly wasn't expecting to be able to fit uh, in anything that I would see, but I saw this and they had samples outside for you to, to wear. To my surprise, I fit. I fit in the hoodie. It was a, mo a little emotional, not gonna lie. It was a little emotional. And I was fucking excited to be throwing away $60 at that point. I was like, give it to me, give it to me all. So this is a hoodie. <laughs> uh, notice the color, <laughs> it's not black, uh, but you know, it, it matches. <laughs> this is the official, I think, Sailor Moon store. This is a Sailor Moon Cosmos hoodie. I really, really like, love it. It's it's amazing. On the back of it, you have the name, like the, the, the movie name, and you have all the name of the characters, like as civilians and as their sailor counterparts. So I really like this one. Uh, it's really nice. Like the fabric is, it feels really nice. Honestly, it do, it's not fleece. It's not like the type of fabric that um, you see now where it's all like fleece and it, you get really sweaty. It's, it, I don't know how to explain it, but this is different. This fabric is very different. So it, it lets, it's breathable. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. It's breathable, it's breathable fabric. I really love it. And it has like Eternal Sailor Moon there, right there. This is my favorite purchase so far. <laughs> We have a lot more coming. This concludes our uh, first section of uh, the Sailor Moon store haul, but let's get on to the cool stuff, which is what I got at Sailor Moon Museum. At the Sailor Moon Museum, I didn't see a lot of things that really interest me. I was particularly wanting to buy a specific poster, which unfortunately was sold out. <laughs> Tough luck for me, bitch. 
But, uh, you know, I, I got me several, uh, several other things. So let me show you what I got. First of all, I grabbed my little basket and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna splurge. I don't care. I, I saved money for three years. I was planning to go to Japan in 2020. <laughs> you can imagine what happened um, back then. So I've been saving a lot of money since then so that I can, you know, go back and splurge. So let me show you first what I got because it's big. This right here is a Sailor Moon um, rug. I was like, you know what? For how much did I pay for this? 3,000, <laughs> it was 3,000 yen. But like 27 bucks, you know? It's not bad, it's not bad. 27 bucks is not bad. I I'm not the type of person that likes to buy pink stuff, but hey, it's it's the brooch, it's the brooch, it looks nice. Why not? I, I, I am the type of person that likes to buy things that I can use, not necessarily to connect, to collect and display. I like to buy things that I could possibly use. So I get really cold in winter, especially on my footsies. And when I saw <laughs> these adorable, adorable uh, Sailor Moon socks, like fuzzy socks, I was like, give me two. This, these feel so nice. It's one of those that have like the silicone little tips on the bottom. It's not bad. It it's, feels super nice. Uh, embroidered. It's actually embroidered. It's really nice. This is the Sailor Moon one. And it does have like the little moon embroidered there as well. I'm going to use these at night. I don't want to use these like throughout the day uh, because then, you know, my feet will probably get sweaty. But these are really nice. Uh, again, I bought another little little clear acrylic stand. Uh, it is part of the Sailor Moon Museum uh, clear acrylic stand blind shit. Again, I do not like the fact that it's blind. I like to uh, be able to pick and choose the character that I want. But to my surprise and luck, I got the one that I want. I'm not sure what it is about acrylic stands. It's been a thing now for a couple few years. I don't see the appeal of it. I'm not a person, like I said, that likes to collect things to display. I like to buy things that I can use, even though, you know, they get worn out or if they break or if they get dirty. It's still something that I can use. You know, I, I'm a person that most of the times goes for something that she needs other than what she wants. You know what I mean? All right. While I was at the museum, I did see or new illustrations and they were I wanted these as posters honestly I wanted these as posters they didn't have them as posters and they were just like fucking clear files so I was like you know what fuck it I'm just gonna buy them so uh like I said these are the new illustrations that Naoko did uh sorry about the glare there these are the new illustrations that Naoko did do uh pretty honestly very beautiful I'm gonna put these in my display case again I really wish I could have gotten a poster, but you know, you can't always have what you want. These are actually postcards. I will probably find a frame where I can put all four of them together and hang it on my wall because this is the poster. This is right here. This poster was the one that I wanted and it was sold out by the time I got there. Uh, so cons consolation prize, I guess. <laughs> so we got Sagi and we got black, black. Now, uh, whatever, I mean, black lady, black lady, she doesn't, sorry, I, I can't, I still can't. I mean, the illustration is beautiful, the character, it's just something that I honestly do not like. Though that's Princess Serenity, and this is what the one I wanted. Unfortunately, I was sold out. It's come like in a really nice postcard little uh, folder. This was my favorite illustration, uh, it's a shame. Hopefully I could probably get one Someone goes to the museum <laughs> again. If, if you see it, you know, and if you want to do me a solid, hit me up, man. I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay you back for the entrance fee and for the poster. How about that? If you go to the museum and you see it, be like, hey, Leona wanted this. Um, but the, she, she, uh, she can have you know my um, my entrance uh, paid for for by her. Yes. <laughs> Anything with her new art, uh, I'm I'm gonna be over here drooling all over it. Uh, this is just you know it does have like the Sailor Moon Museum on the back. 
uh, the legend there. And uh, it's just, it's just, you know, a notebook. Uh, I, I used to journal a lot when I was younger until a little thing happened. <laughs> if you saw my other first time story time video. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't journal much after. I'll probably take it up again. Like the hardcover, it, it's like really, really nice. The cover's really, really nice. It's thick. It feels like an actual book. Like this is actually silver. It does, you know, it does shine and all. Very, very beautiful. I'm really not sure I'm gonna use this one myself, but hey. Uh, uh, there was like, um, I did take uh, some little items for a few friends over and uh, they wanted this particular poster, I think, um, that it was also out of stock, unfortunately. Uh, so I was like, hey, do you want a clear file? And she was like, yes, send, give me a clear file. So I was like, yeah, I might as well have one for myself. <laughs> uh, I'm going to frame this though. I'm gonna, you know, basically put this on frame and hang it on my wall because I'm not the type of person to collect folder thingy, uh, clear files because it, I think it's a waste. I think it's a waste to to have it tucked away. <laughs> I, I'd rather hang it, hang it on my wall. And it does have like a smaller one, you know, the same uh, black lady one on the back. It's Naoko's beautiful art and it deserves to be hanged on my wall. I also did buy uh, a, like, like a little, yeah, it's just, it's just notes. It's just basically notes that you can write on. You know what I'm gonna do with these? Whenever I send anything out to somebody, I'm gonna put like, if it's like a Sailor Moon related figure, um, if it's a commission, which I don't do anymore, or if it's, you know, <laughs> my little, special project, if you know what I mean, uh, I'll probably use these, like a little thank you note. Probably. As someone that goes to the gym on a regular basis, I, I need me a small towel because I take two. I take a big one and I take a small one. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a towel or two and just, you know, switch them out whenever I go and work out. Because like I said, I like to buy stuff to use it, not to tuck it away and never see it again. I, I, I saw a lot of uh, masking tapes. And I was like, you know what? I, I'm gonna buy a lot of, like it's very, like the amount of tape that, that you get is very little, but hey, it has like the Sailor Moon like logos. And um, it reminds me like from the Sailor Moon channel illustration types, like, but no, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. I actually like these, so clear tape. Okay, this is clear tape. This is not masking tape, but this one has, the original, this one has the original logos from the 90s on it. <laughs> it's all the logos from the 90s. The reason that I bought these masking tapes, you're like, Leila, you, you don't, you use like the, the yellow tape. Why did you buy this for, how much did I pay for each one? I paid 400 yens for each, so that was about 250. Uh, I paid 250 per roll and it's not a lot of masking tape. So I thought to myself, you know what? This year, I'll be doing a shit ton of Sailor Moon uh, videos uh, for figures. Every single time that I will be masking any part of any figure that is from the Sailor Moon series, I will take a little piece of this tape and put it on ceremoniously as a final, you know, as a final tape that covers whatever area that I'll be masking. And uh, that will be uh, my my calling card from now on until I run out of little Sailor Moon masking tape. So uh, th that is my decree and that's what I will be doing every single time that you see me uh, mask a Sailor Moon figure. The last piece of tape on that particular piece that I'm masking will have a little bit of, of one of the Sailor Moon Museum masking tapes that, that I have to proclaim uh, with honor and, and pride that I went to the Sailor Moon Museum, spent a shit ton of money, and I need to justify that. <laughs> this item in particular, I would suggest you pass on it. If you do go to the Sailor Moon Museum, and if you do see this item, I would highly suggest you you skip it. Um, because while it does have a, like a really wonderful color combination, that's what allured me, and uh, the thought that, you know, I am a person that uh, constantly buys uh, every new version of chapstick <laughs> uh, that comes out. I thought, oh, hey, look, it's it's uh, 
it's a lip balm uh, from the Sailor Moon Museum, and it has Sailor Moon on it, and it's for, you know, it's for your lips. Again, I like to buy things that I can use. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use this. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I thought it was gonna smell nice or maybe have some sort of taste. It smelled like medicine. It smelled like fucking medicine and it didn't have like a nice flavor and it wore off in a matter of maybe 10 minutes. So I would I would definitely tell you, skip this one. Uh, it's not worth the uh, 500 yen for this somewhere. Yeah, I would suggest, you know, skip this one. I bought two because I wanted to keep one and uh, I wanted to use one. And uh, yeah, mm -mm. Don't, don't recommend it at all. I would say skip this. It ain't worth it. The last piece of resistance from the Sailor Moon Museum. This one, uh, I, I had to buy it because it was, you're gonna see, you're gonna see. I saw it and I didn't know, I didn't see at first what it was and then I realized what it was and I was like, let me show you the, <laughs> check out the price, check, check the price out. Tell me how much, how much do you see there? I see one, two, three, four zeros. I see four zeros. I paid, because of the yen, so I paid $60. $60? Still for something like this, you're gonna be like, what the fuck was, what the fuck is that, Leo? Not, well, let me show you what it is. Is a, if only this whole thing, sorry, the suspense is killing you. I know, you're gonna have to deal with it, okay? This is a gold-plated commemorative Sailor Moon Museum. It looks beautiful. And this is going to go in my display case. Like even the, it's it's so nicely cut. I'm not, I'm not afraid to take it out. Okay. It does have like, the cut on the acrylic is really nice. It makes it kind of like, I don't know if you can see it. It kind of makes it holographic. Like the reflection, it looks amazing. It is gold plated. It is beautiful. It's small, but hey, for 10,000 yen, about 67 bucks, not bad. Plus it was, it was, you know, like a little uh, souvenir. And on the back of it, it does say uh, Sailor Moon Museum 30th anniversary. Hopefully you can see it in the video and the camera. Unfortunately, I can't see it myself, but you know, it, this is going to definitely go up on on my display case and it does say limited edition so if you go and and if you have 67 bucks to to splurge on i would definitely recommend you buy you know your little plaque this will definitely be going in into my my special display case but while while I was walking all through uh, everywhere, I, I wanted to buy things, like I said, again, things that I can use around the house, things that I can use for myself, or things in general that I think are cute or nice, or things that I missed out on. <laughs> if you get to go to Akihabara, or if you are in Denden Town and you see the Volks building, I would highly suggest you go inside because inside the Volks building in particular, and I think there are other places that I didn't go to, but I know that they have the same type of format of sales where you, you go into the first, the first floor and there are like a shit ton of boxes, like acrylic boxes. And what these boxes have is like, you, you have to like scavenge for shit and you never know what you're gonna find because people rent those little boxes and take all the things they wanna sell and shove it in there. So there will be a lot of boxes where it's the same exact character because apparently the person that had them was obsessed with them and we just wanted to get rid of all of their Oscars and Rays. Uh, or, you know, there will be another person that just sells one piece shit and there are another person that sells like, uh, you know, whatever. So you have to take your time and look at every single little box that you come across to see if there's something there that might, you know, catch your eye. Unfortunately for me, uh, there were no garage kids anywhere. So first off of the bat, uh, these apparently are new Ichiban Kuji uh, keychains that I saw. And I was like, you know what? These these look really nice. These are profile. These are profile keychains. And I'm definitely liking 
uh, Saturn and Eternal Sailor Moon there. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm taking these. And these were like, the person was selling them for 500 yen each. And I'm like, yoink, mine and mine. So these are the two first keychains that I got. Now I did go to a little store called Surugaya and Surugaya is like, it's like an anime store, but they have a lot of shit ton of stuff. I went there because I was interested if, you know, in seeing if they had any good garage kits I could, you know, buy. Unfortunately for me, they didn't. <laughs> But uh, they have like a little section where they have like discounted stuff and they have like little baskets with a shit ton of things from the series. So I found me two cute little keychains that these were actually the last two items in that basket <laughs> at a reduced price. So it says used. Honestly, it's not. It's basically new. Uh, I bought this for 220 yen each, which is basically just a dollar fifty. Neptune, Neptune is cute, and I bought me this one, so I was like, "Yes, you coming home with me?" Uh, passing by uh, a book off, uh, they're like, they have a shit. Like, I'm pretty sure if you're in the U.S., you know what a book off is, but in case you don't know, it's just basically another se secondhand used store. Uh, so I went and I bought me, you know, I found these two little keychains. Now this one, I'm looking at it now and it's apparently the Ichiban Kuji one uh, that I, this, it's from the same Ichiban Kuji line. But hey, it, the only thing it doesn't have is the, the, the plastic thing, the, the presentation thing. But hey, for 220 yen, it's not bad. Uh, and I got me this one because, you know, why not? It's, it's like so you can put it on. Um, maybe somewhere not, it's not particularly a keychain, but I'm gonna give good use to this. Now I did find me a, the, the Luna, of course. I did find a, a Luna, very old keychain. Actually, I saw these when I went to Japan the first time. So this is nine years old. <laughs> this keychain here is nine years old. I missed out on these. And when I saw that they had like, the, that Luna was there like on a, on a lonely shelf, I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. So yeah, uh, this is another one that I got at Book Off. I'm not really sure what it is. A lot of these things, I didn't really see them uh, when they were announced at the time. I know they're gashapons, maybe. Uh, yeah, for 200 yen, you know, not bad. Also at the book off, I found me these two uh, Ichiban Kuji glasses. Again, this is, these are old. These are old, but you know, I never got to buy them back then. And I'm like, you know what? 220 yen each? <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah. So these, these, again, second hand, this is sealed. It's sealed, like the original tape is there. <laughs> <laughs> it was never open. So it's like, yeah, no, no, no. Th th this is, this is new. Th that's why I love Japan sometimes. Like to them, anything that's secondhand uh, is considered like anything. If like, if you didn't purchase it at the store and somebody else is selling it to you, it doesn't matter if it's sealed, it's secondhand. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, very you know, nice old glass. Like, again, this is like the Ichiban Kuji lottery from probably more than five years ago, maybe. Uh, if you have these, good for you. I never did. <laughs> and I just now got them for cheap. So again, if you have a chance to stop by a book off or a hard off or a hobby off, which is basically the same thing, it's the same chain, I would highly recommend you, you stop by in Japan, not in the US. You stop by, and you know, browse around. Who knows what you're gonna what you're gonna find? Like I found these two. And they're really nice. Plus, uh, if if you do go to Hobby Off, uh, at the one that I ended up, you know, walking into in Yokohama, they had like a lot of original '90s toys for dirt cheap, like fucking dirt cheap. And I was like, I don't collect this. But I know people that would die to get the original Sailor Moon um, wand uh, for less than 2,000 yen. And it was in a good condition. It wasn't It wasn't in a bad condition. It was good condition. So yeah, pro tip. Uh, uh, if you go to uh, Japan, uh, stop by a hobby off, book off, or a hard off. Any of those three. Hard off. Oh, Japan. <laughs> oh, Japan. Princess Neptune plate. 
that I got. Again, another Ichiban Kuji uh, prize, which, uh, I mean, for the 300 yen that I paid, <laughs> it's a steal. And it's really nice. I was, again, uh, tracking back to Mandarake, I got me another uh, Ichiban Kuji Sailor Moon uh, towel for cheap. Uh, I think it was 600 yen. Uh, so let's let's open up. Oh, feels nice. The fabric is nice. Well, I could probably take this as my second uh, towel to the gym. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's it's Usagi and she's like in a sleepover kind of thing. I did find another one, bigger, cheapo. Uh, this was for 1,000, 1,200 yen, which is basically like eight dollars. You know, an eight dollar towel. The type of fabric for towels in Japan is very different from the, you know, the towels that we like. The front of it is really like soft, but in the back it's like a little coarse. Is what it is. It's Japan. And it's not that maybe it'll fit i don't know if it will fit but you know we'll see tomorrow so this uh, apparently is another uh again acrylic stand you know i'm i'm complaining a lot about acrylic stands and yet here i am buying several of them yeah you can make fun of me uh but hey this 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 shit's i think no yeah it's new this shit's new it's all the senshi princesses in their senshi you know their princess form this is the last little piece that i found at a book off uh, again ichiban kuji now i am someone that definitely drinks a lot <laughs> so uh, i saw this and i'm like hell yeah now the thing that that, that i that i thought it was pretty funny was that there were two of these two one was marked as 880 yen and the this one right next to it 660 yen so i'm like is it broken what's wrong with it and i open it both up like strate strategically opening opening them up without the camera looking at me and uh, they were exactly the same so i'm like well <laughs> you know which which one i'm taking so uh yeah i'm not a i'm not somebody that drinks but you know, I saw these. These look really, really beautiful. The other ones that I saw were the original ones, the one where like their Sailor Moon and Tuxedo mask on it. But these ones, these ones are like, nah, man, I, I need these ones. They look a little bit more elegant, not so childish. Unfortunately, I don't drink, but hey, that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy them with cider. These last items that I have, I didn't go to a very specific uh, store. Well, yes and no. There's like a tiny independent store in Osaka that my friend manages. And uh, let's just say that she, she carries a lot of Sailor Moon stuff. She showed me things. She showed me and I'm like, God damn it, I'm taking it. <laughs> How much do you want it? So uh, I got it for a good price. I'm just gonna say that I got it for a good price. This one right here, when she's when she showed it to me, I was like, "Fuck you! <laughs> I need it." So this is basically just a cup. It's just a little glass cup. I saw this, and it is from the Sailor Cosmos movie, and I really liked it because it had the logo, like the logo of the movie, and on the front it had the Eternal Transformation brooch. So I was like, "Hell yeah, bitch! Hell yeah, bitch!" So I'm taking this with me. So probably you can't see it, but now you can. Uh, yeah, it's, it's called the logo. I really like this, so cheers, cheers. Cheers to you, Maddie. <laughs> uh, this, this is candy. She was like, yeah, this is something we also can't sell anymore because it's, you know, it's candy. <laughs> Do you want to take it? The sugar spoil. Technically, sugar never spoils. Spoils. It's not gradually granulated. Thank you, sugar. When was this made? Does it have an expiration date? I don't know what that is. Google Translate. Let, let's Google Translate this because, um, oh, best before date. <laughs> 4 30, 2017. 
Okay. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I mean, it's sugar. I mean, it's just, it's best before. It didn't say expiration date. It just said best before. So, I like strawberries. Let's see what a uh, six-year-old candy tastes like. Uh, if I'm in the hospital, uh, you will know because this video won't go up. It still smells good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Mm. Mm. You know when candy has been in um, plastic bags for a long time? Kind of has like plasticky taste, but it then fades away. Yeah, it's that. It's that. It doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, it's good. It's good. The last piece of resistance from this whole haul. I am amazed, surprised, and delighted that it survived in my luggage because this is paper. As soon as you see it, if you know, you know. And if you don't, I'll, sh I'll tell you. I, I need to buy frames for this because damn. This is from the Sailor Moon event that never happened, according to her. That's what she said. <laughs> Those are her words. Uh, this is from the Sailor Moon on Ice that was canceled because, you know, the Rona. This was supposed to be a part of the uh, event merch and well, being that, you know, she she manages the store, well, she got the merch, but, <laughs> you know, uh, never happened. But hey, uh, we get to see Naoko's more recent work, which is beautiful. I love it, honestly, but this is not my favorite. This is the one that she showed me first. I mean, it's not like I don't have space in my walls. Maybe I'm running out, maybe I'm not. Let me show you the one that I really, really saw and I was like, that, that, I need that. Uh, Prism on Ice, that was the event that never happened. But hey, uh, now I got something and I can say, yeah, I got merch of uh, uh, something that, you know, never saw the light of day. Um, and I'm really happy. I'm really happy. My wallet is crying. But hey, uh, I, I got to buy a lot of things that I can use. <laughs> and uh, many other things that I will treasure because they are kind of like souvenirs of the places that I went to. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little haul. <laughs> if you can call it little, I guess. I mean, there, I purchased a lot of small things, so it, it, it added up, you know, it, there's a lot of stuff in here. I didn't really get this while I was in Japan. I didn't purchase it in Japan, but it did arrive when I was in Japan here. Not, not there. I might as well show you because it's the, it's a Sailor Moon haul. It arrived before I did, and I was like, you know what? You're gonna come with me, and you're gonna appear in, in the video, whether you like it or not. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. If not, let me show you. <sighs> yeah. Now um, this came in in the mail. <laughs> I haven't really opened it. It's really beautiful. Unfortunately for me, Bandai is not gonna give me what I want, which is the original 90s Eternal Tear Proplica. So I guess this is a consolation prize, but still, um, I'm not gonna do an unboxing right now of this because you've probably seen other videos of other people unboxing it at this point. Um, I like to enjoy my unboxings of Proplicas to myself because I kind of get a little emotional all the time. I, I don't wanna have you see me ugly crying when I push buttons and I hear Usagi's voice. Uh, this is this is what I got. So um, I'm not sure if this video was entertaining for you. It was for me because I got to open all the stuff that I've been saving since I arrived. I was like, no, no, no. I People wanted a fucking haul video. So now you get a fucking haul video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'll leave a comment, tell me which ones of all the items that I bought was your favorite? And um, yeah, I, I don't know what else. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a haul video. Probably a really, really long one too. Uh, but hey, uh, I, I do have the other haul video. Um, 
So be sure to check that one out. Keep on.